Hi, this is Lonnie Alexander. I'm on number three original. One of the toughest tee shots here at Onion Creek. Uh, you know, you can play this short par four a number of different ways. Iron off the tee, hybrid or fairway wood, uh, even a driver if you want to play a, a gutsy shot. But w what I want to say is maybe not so gutsy as a driver off the deck. You'd think, man, driver off the deck, that's, that's impossible. Well, driver off the deck is good for you. It's healthy to practice, particularly on the range because it really measures your ability to keep your shoulders level. If you're teetering with your shoulders, you're really gonna struggle hitting a driver off the deck. You have to keep your shoulders level so that your club stays level with the ground. The good thing about hitting a driver off the deck on number three original is that drivers off the deck don't get in the air very much. And if they do, they tend to be cutting. So it's nice, comfortable to aim down the left side of number three and hit a driver off the deck. Because if I close the club face, the ball can't get in the air. It's just kind of a smother left shot. It doesn't really hurt me on number three. If the ball does get in the air, it tends to cut, which is what I want. I want it to cut back into the fairway off the left side. So I'm actually aiming this pretty much down the rock wall when I'm setting up. And I'm gonna do my best to make a smooth swing and keep my shoulders level. That was a nice low bullet down the left side. Took a kick off that mound on the left and right in the middle of the fairway. Nice low trajectory. It's really a pretty cool controlled shot. Again, if you're hitting a driver off the deck, unlike a, a t-ball driver where you reach for it a little bit, a driver off the deck, you let your arms hang like you're hitting a three wood or a fairway wood. And you don't want to take a divot, but you do want the club to brush the grass. So I'm going to see if I can do that one more time. I come up, I get set up down the left side. I'm doing my best to keep my shoulders level so I'll sweep this ball. Did it again, little bullet right down that left side. I love it, I hit both of those shots with no divot, yet I still got that nice sweep of the ground. It definitely takes some practice to brush the ground with your driver, but the nice thing is that trajectory stays low. So the keys to hitting a driver off the deck Make sure you let your arms hang. Work on your shoulders being the catalyst for staying level with the ground. And don't overswing. Some people call this a stinger. I'm gonna to try to stay smooth. Turn my shoulders level. Got three balls in the fairway. Driver off the deck. Definitely practice it on the range, but it can be a good shot for your swing health and to actually put it into your course management. Hope this tip helps.